What if your dreams weren't just private, isolated experiences? What if they were part of a vast, interconnected field of consciousness, one that extends beyond your own mind? This might sound like mystical speculation, but new scientific research is beginning to suggest that consciousness itself could be a singular shared phenomenon rather than an individual property of the brain. The idea of a collective mind is not new. It has deep roots in ancient traditions, from the Hindu concept of Brahman, the ultimate unified reality, to Carl Jung's collective unconscious, which posits that all humans inherit a shared repository of symbols, dreams, and archetypes. Meanwhile, quantum physicists, neuroscientists, and dream researchers are uncovering evidence that challenges our understanding of consciousness. Studies on dream states, lucid dreaming, and interbrain synchronization suggest that individual minds may not be as separate as we assume. If reality itself is structured like a dream, as some physicists propose, then perhaps we are not merely dreaming in isolation, but participating in a vast, collective experience. In this video, we will explore scientific and philosophical perspectives on whether consciousness is a unified field experiencing itself through different viewpoints. If we are all part of one dreaming mind, what does that mean for free will, personal identity, and the nature of reality itself? Dreaming is one of the most mysterious processes of the human brain. While we spend roughly one-third of our lives asleep, science is still unraveling the purpose and nature of dreams. Neuroscientific studies show that during REM sleep, the stage where vivid dreaming occurs, the brain becomes almost as active as it is during wakefulness. Research using functional MRI scans indicates that the default mode network, a brain system associated with self-reflection and imagination, becomes highly active in dream states. This is striking because the DMN is also central to our sense of self, suggesting that dreams might be more than just neurological noise. Some scientists propose that dreaming functions as a kind of mental simulation, allowing the brain to rehearse scenarios for future survival. But here's where things get even more intriguing. Studies have found that dream content often aligns with collective concerns. A study from 2020 analyzed over 24,000 dream reports and found that societal events, such as pandemics or wars, create global patterns in dream symbolism, as if minds are subtly interconnected. Harvard neuroscientist Dr. Robert Stickgold has suggested that dreams might serve as a form of crosstalk between individuals, with unconscious thoughts seeping into the collective psyche. If dreams are shaped not only by personal memories but also by a larger informational field, could this mean that our minds are less isolated than we think? Lucid dreaming, the ability to become self-aware inside a dream, has been scientifically confirmed through EEG and fMRI studies. Neuroscientists at the Max Planck Institute have demonstrated that lucid dreamers can send pre-agreed eye movement signals from within dreams, proving a form of communication between sleeping and waking consciousness. But beyond personal lucidity, some dreamers report something even stranger shared dreams. These are dreams in which multiple people claim to have met, interacted, or experienced the same environment despite sleeping separately. While mainstream science remains skeptical, there are documented cases of dreamers reporting identical details without prior discussion. Theoretical physicist Dr. Fred Allen Wolf has suggested that consciousness may exist in a non-local state, meaning that information could be exchanged beyond the constraints of space and time. Additionally, Jungian psychology describes the idea of big dreams, dreams that contain universal themes and archetypes appearing independently across cultures. If dreams can be shared or at least show uncanny similarities across individuals, this raises profound questions. Are dreams merely brain-generated simulations, or are they tapping into a deeper layer of reality? Could lucid dreamers access a space where consciousness converges, a kind of neural internet beyond the physical brain? Some of the most cutting-edge ideas in physics suggest that consciousness may not be an emergent property of the brain, but a fundamental aspect of the universe itself. One of the most controversial theories in this area 
is Orchestrated Objective Reduction, or ORCH-OR, developed by physicist Sir Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Dr. Stuart Hameroff. They propose that consciousness arises from quantum processes inside the microtubules of neurons, tiny structures that may act like quantum computers. If this is true, consciousness wouldn't be confined to individual brains, but could be an intrinsic part of the quantum field itself. Another perspective comes from the holographic universe theory, which suggests that the physical world is a projection from a deeper, more fundamental reality. Nobel Prize winning physicist David Bohm argued that the universe operates like a hollow movement, where what appears as separate and distinct in the material world is actually deeply interconnected beneath the surface. If consciousness is a non-local phenomenon, then our subjective experiences, our dreams, thoughts and awareness, could all be manifestations of a singular shared mind. This aligns with the idea that waking life itself might be a kind of dream, a simulation projected from a deeper, unified source of consciousness. Long before quantum physics and neuroscience, mystics and philosophers described reality as an illusion, an interconnected dream. Hindu philosophy speaks of Maya, the grand illusion of separateness, while Buddhist texts describe the self as a transient dream with no fixed identity. The Sufi master Ibn Arabi famously wrote that life is but a dream within a dream, suggesting that what we call reality is simply a temporary perspective within an infinite consciousness. These perspectives align strikingly with modern physics and dream research. If the brain acts more like a receiver of consciousness rather than its producer, then the notion of an independent self dissolves. Instead of being individual self-contained minds, we might be localized viewpoints of a single awareness experiencing itself through infinite forms. This has profound implications. If reality is structured like a dream, does this mean that our collective beliefs and emotions shape the world around us? Could deep meditation or altered states of consciousness allow us to wake up within the dream and interact with it more intentionally? If consciousness is indeed a shared field rather than an individual phenomenon, then the implications are staggering. It would mean that our thoughts, emotions, and even dreams are not entirely private. They are ripples in a larger ocean of awareness. This idea aligns with research showing that human brains can synchronize in deep conversation or shared experiences, suggesting a kind of inner brain resonance. If consciousness is non-local, it could mean that we influence one another in ways we don't yet fully understand. What if creativity, inspiration, and even intuition are drawn from a vast interconnected network of minds rather than our isolated selves? If we are all part of one dreaming mind, then reality itself may be more malleable than we assume. Could we wake up within the dream? Could lucid awareness extend beyond sleep into waking life? These are the questions that invite not just scientific inquiry, but deep personal exploration. What do you think? Are we isolated minds or are we dreamers within a collective consciousness? Let's continue this discussion in the comments.